Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. My name is Leona. I'm also a Shakar. I'm also known as Shakar Transformations. I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. Um, if you're curious to see what that's all about, I am at the moment two weeks out from my last show. I upload a once a week vlog of my week as well as my full day of eating. I apologize if my animals are crazy, but my cat has zoomies, which is a bit annoying. And my other animals are just being just needy. I don't know why. So apologies, but they're uh, going to be playing clearly if a big role in this video. So yeah, if you're curious to see about my bodybuilding, check that out. Um, talking of exercise and and bodybuilding, we are going to be looking at glitters and lasers. Who is going to do a plus size non equipment beginners home workout? My fitness journey. I have some thoughts on this. I think, first of all, um, she doesn't perform many exercises with correct form anyway, so why would you make a video trying to educate people on exercise? When one, you're still very overweight, and it's not saying that when you're overweight you can't exercise, but um, when you're super morbidly obese, you, can't, you should train in a certain way, and you should probably work with a professional that knows how to work with obese bodies. For the simple reason that obviously the body moves different, you have slightly different training requirements. Two, like I said, the form is not correct. Three, she's not a personal trainer, she has no education in it. Uh, not that that necessarily matters though, because a lot of coaches that I know are ne not necessarily person personally trained qualified. I have a personal trainer qualification and it, it was pointless to be honest, I didn't learn anything in the course. When I went to my personal trainer course, the, tr the teachers were asking me about training so I think there's a lot to be said about just experience as well but she has none of those things she doesn't know how to train for perform she's not really into fitness let's be real it's not really her thing um she hasn't made massive strides in terms of her progress her weight loss she's kind of pretty much stagnated since the last three four months she lost weight purely by fat loss injections really um and when she works out it's uh it's not really a proper workout. She kind of does it half-hearted and she does it with incorrect form. So I don't really understand the point of this video. That's like me making a, me making a what? I'm trying to think. Uh, I can't think because I have prep brain. So it's just like, it's just, she's just not the right person to make this video basically. Out of all the things, make travel vlogs, make vlogs on packing, make vlogs on a big, like large size, Outfits, yes, I'm all for that. But exercising, no. But anyway, let's see what she has to say. Maybe there is, I'm sure there's some good tips in there, but I'm just curious, basically, from the perspective of somebody that does actually train people. That's that are gonna be 45 seconds on and 15 seconds off. And we're gonna do them in sets. The first set is gonna be. Okay, so first of all, in general, Doing 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, it's kind of like a circuit style training. This is not really recommended for people that are obese because of the heart problems that they usually have. If you have high blood pressure, if, you have, oh, if you're over a certain age, it is recommended that you have larger rest breaks. So to do like high intensity style training, where you do uh, circuits, 50 minutes of 45 minutes training with 15 seconds rest, um, it's not really ideal because you can't focus on form properly. First of all, you can't focus on form properly. Um, and second of all, if you've got heart problems and stuff like that, it's not, it's not, it's just dangerous because you don't have a chance to recover properly. It's gonna increase your blood pressure. And on top of that, when you're morbidly obese, um, like I said, you just can't move your body properly. So you're compromising form and then therefore the exercise is pointless. Also, if you're, I, I guess your goal is also, what is your goal? Is, are you just burning to, are you looking to burn some fat? Or are you looking to actually recomp your body? If you're looking to recomp your body, there's a time and a place for some circuit style training. The, but the reality is if you want to build muscle, there's a reason why hypertrophy exists. There's a reason why people train in certain rep ranges. There's a reason why bodybuilders train the way that bodybuilders train. There's a reason why strength trainers or powerlifters, etc. Hello. Train the way that they do. And it's not this way. This way, yes, it's good for burning some calories. Uh, are you going to build some muscle or recomp your body? Grow a booty? No. And also, again, on home workouts, 
especially body weight unless you have like a calisthenics set at home uh, and like even with calisthenics there's only so much you can do uh, people that do calisthenics obviously are in great shape but a home workout there's again it's only so much you can do unless you have like a fairly well equipped gym or you have at least um, a, um, a cable rack and a squat rack and some pretty serious dumbbells with a bench if you just have a couple of dumbbells and body weight there's really the, the changes you're going to make in your physique are going to be they're possible but they're not going to be anywhere as good as what you can do what uh, in a gym basically but obviously fat loss is all about diet anyway so it doesn't really matter but um, yeah anyway so today we're doing a series of workouts that are going to be 45 seconds on and 15 seconds off and we're going to do them in sets the first set is going to be really easy so to get our blood pumping we're going to do a warm-up and this is just to make sure your vessels are ready to go so this is how i start each and every workout and honestly some of the things that used to be my actual workout are now in my warm-up so we're going to do an overhead to floor stretch for 20 seconds we're going to do a body weight good morning and again we're going to do this exercise for 20. Uh, that's not a good morning though Seconds. This is okay. I, I should probably what I probably should do with this video is like go away into the gym, film the exercise separately. I'm not going to do that because I have neither the time or the energy to do that. So you're just going to get me standing up here and doing it. I apologize. I could be a better YouTuber, but I'm not right now. <laughs> I have a, I'm 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 running on very low energy. Uh, I'm extremely tired and the last thing I want to do is spend like hours editing a video together and that's the good honest truth I just don't have the mental capacity or the time or energy to do that. So a good morning It's not just flopping your body up and down a good morning All right, so I've put on some booty shorts and I'm going to show you what a good morning is so basically what you want to do is you want to stand shoulder width apart and it's a hip hinge It's not a flop it's a hip hinge. So what you wanna do from here, shoulder width apart, put your weight into your heels, tilt back through the hips, sit into the heels, and from here, you lean forward with either a weight in front of you or the weight on your back, and you can only go to about parallel, because the second you go too far and you start rounding your upper back, it's not a good morning anymore. So. This is probably the range of motion for most people. And then from here, using your glutes, you pull in. You don't do this, because it puts pressure on the lumbar. So this is a good morning. It's basically very similar to a Romanian deadlift. Slightly, slightly different, but very similar. The difference with the Romanian deadlift is that the weight's in front of you. Good morning is on the back. The Romanian deadlift is slightly narrower stance um, and it's more hamstring focused and it has a larger stretch because the weight is in front of you. Uh, but in general, doing warm ups, I'm all for it. I also do dynamic stretching to warm up for the simple reason that if I don't, uh, I, I have a very I have a bad time training because I'm an old lady. And basically, all my hips and my joints hurt if I don't warm up properly, and I have very poor range of motion. So that it, anything that I demonstrate, uh, it probably isn't going to look great for the simple reason that I've just woken up. So, keeping with that theme, we're going to do a walking Frankenstein, which is where you literally walk like Frankenstein for you guessed it, 20 seconds. Now this one's a little bit of a challenge, and if you're new to working out, I wouldn't suggest doing this without some type of support but we're gonna do a walking lunge. Now, if you're really nervous about this and you're like, oh, I cannot do that, you can actually grab it. Again, she's fucking this up as well. Jesus Christ, this video is gonna be so long. Lunges. You don't walk a lunge ever, never. What you do with a lunge, yes, I'm fully Eastern European with my slippers. What you do is you step out, you lunge down, you come up, Step in, step out, lunge down, come up, step in. So this, unless you are, unless you're a very advanced lifter, and even I would say body weight, be careful, 
but you literally actually don't walk your lunges. A walking lunge is that you step out, you come down, you step in, you step out. And this is why a lot of people can't lunge is because this is what they're doing. And when you're doing that, you're moving too fast. You're losing your balance. You're not, you're not um, placing your footing down properly. It's hurting your knees. So you want to take your time. Great exercise. One of the best leg building exercises there is. Many varieties to do. But you don't walk a lunge. You step out. You do your lunge, lunge down, you come up and you step in. That's how you do a walking lunge. And especially if you try and do this with weights, you will guaranteed hurt yourself. Grab onto a countertop or somewhere else for stability and just go as low as you can. And like clearly, and in a stagnant like she can't, and clearly she doesn't know, she can't do it. She can't even do this. So what she needs to do is not walk lunges because she can't. So what she should do is just step out and focus on static lunges, come down. And come up, come down, and come up. And you see how I just lost my balance? If you're having problems with the balance, that's what you do. So, unless you have the full range of motion, this is not a lunge. A lunge is going down to the parallel, at least, and then coming up. And if you can't do that, you have to work on your mobility and on your stability and balance. Lunge. Don't try a walking lunge. Okay, let's go. Also, to start off with holding stretches for too long is not great either when you're cold because you can tear muscles. Um, hold, holding onto your stretches is more something you do when you're cooling down. But in your warm-up stretches, you want to keep the movement in there. Well, I don't know what the fuck this is. This exercise just looks painful to me. It's far too aggressive as well. Just go at your own pace. Like, don't look like you have to go as fast as me. No, you should definitely not go this fast. Because there's no point in it. Like, I don't understand why she is going this fast. Just because you're stretching and you're warming up, that doesn't mean you shouldn't use correct form. She's just flopping her body around. Like, I have no idea what she's doing here. I even go faster. <laughs> no, don't go faster. Because you're... You'll, you'll throw your fucking back out if you do that. Now that our body is all nice and warm, it's time to get into the workout. Now, this is a great workout because you can do it at home and you don't need any weights. Plus, it's also a good workout for someone who's just starting. I'm coming back from surgery and I need to be very careful about... What surgery did she have? How I use my body. And this is a great workout for that because it's going to allow me to build strength without pushing too hard. You don't build strength at home doing bodyweight workouts unless you're doing calisthenics. This kind of stuff does not build strength. It doesn't build muscle. I'm sorry, I don't want to break people's illusions. You do not build muscles doing bodyweight workouts, doing like arm twists. And like, I mean like, yes, granted. You, okay, if you do a lot of push-ups, okay, yeah, you, you, can burn, you can build some chest muscles. You can do I, I, like hundreds of like bodyweight squats. It might develop some muscle, but you're really not going to grow a fucking wellness ass doing that. You need resistance. And resistance happens with muscle, with muscles, with uh, weights. Hard or damaging anything. So let's get into it. The first set is going to be comprised of three exercises. We're going to have a step jack, a high knee, and then also an elevated plank with a knee tap. Now, if this feels a little bit too difficult for you, you can always just switch to a high knee tap. Let's get into it. So this is just like, uh, this is okay. I mean, like, it's a warm up. It's not going to build muscle. I don't know where she's getting building muscle from. This is just cardio stuff, right? <laughs> so I'm going to speed through this because she's literally going to do the whole workout in time. Let me just turn her down a little bit as well.
Right, because she's doing also the, uh, like, it's an actual time, I'm just gonna go through this. When she uh, starts talking and explaining, I'll, I'll... When she starts... I mean, I do think that this sort of exercise is good for somebody like her that is overweight. Doing these exercises are perfectly fine. Um, they're not particularly dangerous or anything like that. I think this is fine. Um, so I'm curious to see what else she's going to do. But yeah, this is this is fine. For, for just to burn some fat, fine. No problems. Yeah, I mean, this is a cardio workout. This is not a muscle building workout. So she's... So I skipped through a lot of this because she's doing literally three rounds of this, um, these step jacks with these knee things. Um... I mean, Lee, as you can see, the form is really being compromised here. And this is the issue. I'm going to scroll back. As you can see, her her form is starting to be really compromised here. Um, and that is, quite frankly... I'm just Let me just turn it down a bit. And this is, quite frankly, the issue that you're going to get when you're doing a lot of volume training, when you're doing a lot of circuit training, is that basically your form starts going because you get tired, right? And especially when you're somebody her size, it is really crucial. I mean, for anybody, really. But for especially for somebody her size, you want to make sure that you keep a good form because the last thing you want to do is give yourself an injury, right? Um, if she injures herself, she's bedbound. So, and I, I noticed it myself for the last few weeks because I'm so low in body fat, um, because I'm tired, and just because in general my strength is down, my strength is like dried down quite a lot. But because I'm so low in body fat, I'm literally all of my joints hurt because I'm, I'm starting to lose the, the fluid between my joints. It's like even that is becoming less. So I can't train the way I want to train or the way I would like to train for the simple reason that if I did, I get an injury. So I have cut out a lot of things like squats, deadlifts, uh, big compound exercises. I haven't been doing them for a couple of weeks for the simple reason that my body is so fatigued and it's so low in body fat that if I did that now, if I trained like that now, I would I would guaranteed get an injury. And even now, I have lower back pain and I don't even know from what. Because I haven't really been training hard or intensely. But I think it's just that just there there is no, like literally everything is dried out. Even the fluids between my joints. And it's a new experience. Like it's a new experience for me to just have elbow pain, to have wrist pain. for Like for nothing. Um... But this is why I'm saying that form matters. So now, the way that I train at this stage in my prep is that everything is very lightweight and I just focus on slow tempos, contractions and almost perfect form. Because, first of all, I'm not really going to build any muscle. And second of all, I just really cannot risk getting injured. The last thing I need right now is an injury and get bit, bit bound, bit bound, or not be able to move or have to be on like all kinds of medication that's going to ruin my physique. So you've got to train smart. And to me, I think there's a time and a place for circuit training. But if your form is starting to be compromised like this, it's not smart. Because you're just you're risking injury. Okay, we're through with our first set of exercises. And we're going to jump into our second set of exercises. Now, this is a little bit different because it has active movements. And also the opposite of active movements. I forgot the name. But isometric holds. We're going to start with a wall sit. And then we're going to do a squat shuffle. And then we're going to end with a knee plank. And again, we'll do this just like we did before. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and then a break in between each set. And we'll do three sets. Now it's time for set two. Not even over yet. I'm kidding. I made it through. Woo! Get to sit for a little bit with Jella. I love the wall set, actually. 
I mean, the way she's filming, I can't really see how deep she is. But if you're going to do a wall sit, you want to sit at least on 45 degree angle. Um, it looks like she's kind of on a 45 degree angle. I actually never do wall sits. There's a time and a place for isometric holds. Personally, one of my favorite, favorite, fucking hell. One of my favorite things to do for a hamstring tie-in. If you're wondering what the hamstring tie-in is. It's, it's when you're, figure out how the light is. So one of my favorites, so for the hamstring sign, it's this here. It's basically, what I like to do is, if I'm doing machine curls for the hamstrings, seated, laying, whatever, is I finish with an isometric hold. And that basically means that you grab some dumbbells and all you're doing is, is you come down and you hold the stretch like this for maybe 10, 15 seconds. And I found that adding in those isometric holds, those stretches have been tremendous in my hamstring development and the tie-in. Um, I have a very good hamstring tie-in and I 100% attribute it to that. Probably alive. They'll probably say something very different. I said too. Right now, this feels so much better. Okay. Things really need to. This rage is really weak right now. Okay. Oh. Here's something. Ten seconds left. Okay, now I feel it. Oh, I feel it. That time. Next is forty-five seconds of squat shuffle. Okay, this is so painful to watch. Why? Let me just put her on normal speed for a second because she sped up. Maybe this is why I'm getting annoyed. Hold on. No, it's still a fucking problem. So, the key with this is, I mean, she's doing cardio, but really, again, what you want to do is, first of all, she's doing this. This, this is not a squat. I don't know what this is, but you're just bending over forwards. As, when she, what she's trying to do is, and I'll tell you right now, I'm, I've just woken up. For me to do a squat properly, like if I walk into a gym now and did a squat, you think I don't know how to squat. I really need to warm up my hips, my, um, my hips, my glutes, my knees, my calves, everything. My squats are awful if I don't warm up my body properly. Because I'm old um, and I'm very tight, especially at the moment from a lot of training and exercise and all that and walking, etc. But the key for a squat is slightly wider than the shoulders, rotate out the knees. You don't have to necessarily point out the knees so much, but you want to rotate out the knees so that you engage your glutes. Breathe in and you come down into the squat. So you see how you see how I keep a neutral back, right? From here, you want to keep the, the legs parallel, and this is where you want to step to the side and walk like this. But if you go too fast, you're not going to feel it. So come down, step out, and just do small steps. But if you're doing it this way, and you keep it low, you are keeping constant tension in the glutes. What she's doing here is not doing anything, basically. If you want to feel it in your glutes and do it properly, you have to make sure that you're deep enough and that you're making small movements and that you stay low. If you're speeding up the process by just doing it as fast as she's doing, you're not really going to get anything out of it. This is nothing. I don't know what she's doing here. I mean, she's not even squatting anymore. She's just literally walking side to side. She will get a lot more out of this if she just slowed down, squatted down and tried to do it that way. Like doing it faster, it doesn't make it better, Anna. I think, I don't know if this is what she's thinking that because she, that she comes across as like being more fit or something like that. But I can guarantee you get more out of this workout if you just squat down, stay down and try to movement slow at a slower tempo. She, like, 
She's just stepping sides. Oh my God, this is so painful. Why is she doing a beginner's workout? For real. Like, for real, for real. This is like, you are in no position to be doing this. Like, I, I, I want to give an example. This is like me telling you how to fucking change the oil on the car. Because I've seen somebody do it. Look, if you want to work out at home and if that's how you have to start because you're insecure, fine. It's not about that. The problem that I'm having here is that she is uh, telling people how to exercise and she's not using the correct form she's not giving the correct uh coaching cues she's just like she's just doing everything wrong and this is not going to be beneficial to anybody all she's doing here is maybe burn some calories but to say that you're building some muscle no you're not building muscle and she said she had an operation i just don't think that this sort of uh, rap i know she sped up but to do this sort of rapid movement I don't know what operation she's had, but if she's had stitches, I think the last thing you should be doing, if you've had stitches, is to basically run around like a fucking maniac. I would imagine that you want to control to make sure that you're not tearing stitches. But I'm not a doctor, so who knows. <laughs> she's going to do a blind, but... I mean, you can't tell, but his, she's not even neutral here. I, I can't show you how to plank because I just haven't got the space for it. But a, a plank, you want to keep your spine neutral. She's not keeping a neutral spine. Yeah, she's on her elbows, but... And, like, she's kind of, like, being supported, like, by her gut as well. So she's... For, I would say that doing a plank where you're disobese is a little bit pointless. Because, like, you're still being supported by your own body fat in a way. Maybe, if on her size, it would be more beneficial if she wants to do, like, isometric hold stuff. Maybe it would be, it would be more beneficial if she, like, come down on her back and, like, lifted her legs up in the air and did, like, a... Let's try and see if I can do it without fucking falling off the sofa here. Sorry, baby girl. Sorry, baby girl. I'm waking you up and I think it's mommy loves you. So, she might be better off doing something like this. An isometric hold. And then to regress it, you can do it like this. Uh, but laying down, obviously. But this, I think, would be much more beneficial for her. Because that way, at least she's engaging her core fully. Whereas here, I feel like... The, the back is, I mean, the form is not correct because she's not, she doesn't have a straight spine. And obviously, like, her, like her, her gunt is on the floor, isn't it? So she's not, she's not actually supporting herself fully, so. We're going to want to just try something new because that's so really hard. Uh, 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 all right, so I've just skipped through uh, the majority of the video because she did three exercises in, in circuit. And she's calling this a muscle building workout. This is not a muscle building workout. At most, this burns some calories, and obviously, if you need to, if to get started, great. If you're limited, if your time, if you're limited for time, if you want to get some act, like if you want to get some exercise going in your day, like doing a 20, 30 minutes sort of cardio-ish workout, great. There's nothing wrong with this. This is not going to build muscle. It just isn't. It's going to burn some calories, and when I mean some calories, yeah, you're lucky to build to burn 100, maybe 150. You're not going to be able to burn a lot of calories. You're not going to build any muscles. But yeah, you're being active. And that's great. Being active is great. But uh, don't be disillusioned into thinking that doing this is going to make you fucking ripped, shredded, gives you abs, gives you a nice squat booty, um, and get you in shape. What's going to get you in shape is sticking to a diet. And if you want to recomp your body, if you want to build muscle, you need to train with weights. And you need to train with weights that are heavy enough for resistance. Of course, what's heavy for one person is not heavy for another. I'm not saying go and squat 200 pounds. You need to work up to that. But you need to have weights and you need to have resistance. If you only have the pink dumbbells at home and you've never trained, great. If you've been doing that at home for a year, you might want to upgrade your pink dumbbells to something a bit heavier because there's no resistance anymore. Um, so, yeah. I'm definitely not where I used to be. Uh, that's okay. But... <laughs> I'm sorry, where did you used to be? Like, when was she fit? Did I miss something? This is 30 seconds of stretch. 
So, um, I'm definitely not where I used to be. Uh, Compared to when? Well, like 15, 20 years ago. <laughs> this is like the slimmest I've seen her in since she's been doing YouTube and all, since I've been covering her, let's put it like that. So like, what does she mean? I don't know how, how where I used to be. This was a pretty easy workout. Oh, I mean like, I know she's a really big woman, like don't get me wrong, but this was not like um, a 45 minutes high intensity fucking Les Mills circuit training workout, you know. It was a fairly straightforward workout. And um, you know, I don't know com compared to what, compared to where. Cause she's not exactly ever been, you know, a super fit person, has she? Unless, unless she meant like before, before in the past. Uh, that's okay. But I'm glad I did it. And if I keep doing it, I'll go back to where I was. I'm feeling both proud and frustrated at the same time. Proud, I pushed through and keep doing it. Frustrated that I'm not where I wanted to be. And I started this video thinking I was gonna be this amazing guide to you. But honestly, I think that ends up being true too. When you get started working out, it's not perfect. And you're gonna not be able to be frustrated that I'm not where I wanted to be. And I started this video thinking I was gonna be this amazing guide to you. But honestly, I think that ends up being true too. When you get started working out, it's not perfect. And you're gonna not be- Hasn't she been doing this for like the last six months or so? She's been fucking preaching this co-pilot for how long? I'm so confused by this. So shouldn't you have learned some shit by now? If you've been doing this for the last, what, six, eight months, a year, almost a year? I'm so confused. I would have thought you would have picked up some things by now, but okay. Be able to do things, or things are gonna be really hard, and they're gonna be feel really frustrating. And I think maybe you need to see more videos like this, with people struggling through things in the beginning, or when they're coming back from injury, or whenever. Or even when they're just trying something new, because that's so much part of the process, and a part of the process we never see, right? And so, in my mind, when I was when I was in the war, uh, struggling at a workout that I thought would be easy, I debated. I'm even shaking. Like, how silly is that? It's not silly. Um, I worked hard, but uh, no, it's it's no, you, you didn't work out hard at all. It's hard for you because you're 450 pounds or 500 pounds. That's why it's hard. Mm, so yeah, of course, for her it's hard because of that, and understandably so. Um, but you know, it's a diet, isn't it? I always keep saying this. Where's where's the diet aspect of all of this? It's nowhere ever to be seen with Anna, is it? She never mentions a diet. She never mentions eating healthy, full days of eating, making dietary changes, improvement that she's doing. Oh, replace this with this. You know, this is how you can become healthier. We never see any of that. Um, I was like, oh, I'm so embarrassed I didn't share this. And the reality is that's exactly why I should share it because sometimes just- I like, you, like you care about being embarrassed. <laughs> you love, like she'll do all the fucking crazy TikTok shit in the middle of nowhere. Uh, she'll she'll do all the crazy TikTok shit in like busy cities and busy places, but you're gonna be embarrassed about a workout video. Come on now. Doing it is the win. So if you tried and couldn't do it, you at least try. I mean, I I do agree with her on that. She's right on that. Uh, I just don't really see the point of this video when like she's kind of contradicting herself. She's been preaching this this co-pilot for months and months and months and now she's saying she can't do any of the exercises and it's a struggle so then have you really been working out all this time like or have you literally just been showing co-pilot clips for the sake of uh the advertisement i'm guessing it is for the advertisement because this is a pretty basic workout if you've been training religiously as she's been saying with co-pilot like on her travels on like almost a daily basis etc etc this should not be this hard for her like this workout was not that complicated so I don't know. Like, doesn't <laughs> clearly she's lying, isn't it? She's only using Copolet, uh for the sponsorship and making videos when it suits her. And I'm sick of all this, like for sponsorship. I mean, perfect structure, perfect blah blah blah. You're never gonna be perfect. There will always be someone that critiques your form, your stamina, your fitness, what you've chosen to do. But the thing that makes success is showing up and continually trying to do something and learning about what makes your body feel good. So that well, that's clearly not what you've been doing, eh? Because you've if this workout has been a struggle for you, even though you've been doing this co-pilot for however long, months and months, then you have not been showing up for yourself. That's what I did today. I'm super freaking proud of it. And now I'm gonna take data for a walk. And I'm gonna celebrate the fact that I showed up for myself today. And if you showed up for yourself, you deserve a celebration too. Okay, check it. See you later, peace. Okay. What is it with people always having to be proud of themselves for everything that, every little thing that they're doing? You shouldn't have to, like, you shouldn't have to be proud of yourself. If, if you have a goal and your goal is to lose body fat, to get fitter and healthier, you don't have to be proud of the fact that you did a workout every time you did a workout. Like, you just do it. You should be proud when you actually achieve something. When you actually achieve a goal. Yeah, doing a workout when it, does, when it sucks and you're not in the mood, it's just ticking boxes, it's part of life. But to be like, I'm proud of it. 
No, you should be proud of the fact when you actually lose weight, when you actually accomplish something. This is not accomplishing anything. You just did the thing. You just did the job. You just did the task that you set yourself out to do. You don't need to be proud of doing your dishes. You need to do your dishes every day. You need to do a workout every day if you want to try and lose weight or at least recomp your body. You don't need to be proud of the fact that you ate healthy. If your goal is to lose body fat, that's just what you do. So yeah, this video was like, I don't really get the point of it. I don't understand why she did it. Um, half of the exercises she did are done with incorrect form uh, or poor form, I should say. Uh, and they don't build muscle. So to say like it's a muscle building workout, it's not. Muscle does not get built this way. It was a cardio workout. That's what it was and that's fine. But say it's a cardio workout. Anyway, on the note, I'm going to go. I'm going to film another reaction. And then I'm going to walk my dogs. And then I'm going to train with Lucy. Who I haven't seen since my competition. And my training is going to be shit. Because I'm two weeks out from the show. But I'm going to do it. And guess what? I'm not going to be proud of myself. Because it's just what I fucking do. Basically, I'll be happy if I get through it. And not have a shit session. That's like, I'm at that point now. It's not about being proud. I'll be proud when it's over. I'll be super proud if I win a pro card. But at the moment, what matters is just getting the fucking days done, taking the boxes, getting the meals in, and that's it. So, on that note, I'm going to go insert a leopard emoji. Got this from Riderwear, in case anybody wonders. Most most of my outfits always are Riderwear. Riderwear, better bodies. Sometimes body engineers, sometimes quad wolf. Those are pretty much the four brands that I use in terms of my gym clothes and gasp for my oversized t-shirts and better bodies as well for oversized t-shirts so I'm gonna go thank you so much for watching comment like subscribe dislike the video if you disliked it let me know down below why and I'll see you in the next video bye guys